I grew up in a town called Leeds in the north and then moved down to London about two and a half years ago. Dave and Justin went to the same school as me, Round A School, and we, yeah, we sort of grew up together and then we met G a bit later down the line. Me and Chris have always um, written songs together and sung together. We've got sort of two different styles that we, we figured out work together. Me and Kick and Evil used to play in a little funk band and me and Just um, played in sort of uh, like a, a thrashy, screamy rock band. We joined Just at the time where the first album was coming out and we were uh, just about to go on tour with DJ Shadow so it was kind of a baptism of fire really. when I was about 12 or so. I was just through wanting to figure out how they made this music. And I used to DJ around Leeds at various nights and those guys, Chris and those guys used to just come. And then Chris heard some of my beats, started writing some songs, grew naturally from there, I guess. We entered this um, unsigned competition on Radio 1 and our track, our demo of a track called Prism got picked up and it got C-listed so we got got um, loads of plays on Radio 1 over about a course of three weeks and that led to our first major record deal with Sony. Once we'd signed we got shipped off to a studio called Rockfield and we were working with a producer called Jim Abbas who's a really cool producer. We recorded our debut album with him and then that led on to um, working with DJ Shadow. We signed with Intertune about a year and a half ago. We just happen to be part of the team now which is uh, going to take hopefully stateless forward to the next level. Matilda is, is different to the first album. I would say largely because the songwriting's changed a lot. It's a lot more character based. It's a lot more of a, a story and a journey. It's quite a lot of kind of East European and Gypsy influences. It's a bringing together of, of new and old in terms of musical styles. A bit dark in places. It also has changed sonically a lot because we've kind of moved away from organic sounds and moved a lot more into electronic soundscapes. We started recording in a studio in Hackney. Then we enlisted the production skills of Damien Taylor. And we sort of laid down all our parts, transported all, all those files over to Damien's studio in Vancouver. And he would kind of interpret the, uh, the beat patterns and stuff that we had and started messing around with electronic sounds and we sort of built it up from there. And we knew that Damien had experience in this field because of the work he'd done with uh, Bjork and the Prodigy. <laughs> and we wanted to take it to the next level. He invited me over to work with him in his studio in Vancouver. We worked on the Sunshine Coast in a little studio in the middle of the forest. We were completely isolated and just absolutely no distractions, just completely into the music. And it was great working closely with Damien as well. A singer called Shara from a group, uh, My Brightest Diamond, and from New York. Uh, she has an incredible voice. Um, she sings on a, it's like a duet with um, called Am on Fire. Well, I first met Shara in, in Manchester. Chris and I were filming um, for this music TV show. And then um, wrote the song I'm on Fire. She loved it. And he sang first, and we were just like, who is this guy? Yeah. You know, with this beautiful yeah. voice. And then we played, and we just, the band's really. Got on. So the next thing was to get over to New York and we decided to just do it in her front room. She had a little apartment in Brooklyn and we just sat up there, set up two mics in the room and recorded it live. I'm from the secret place where we buried those bones while we shore our ship with buckets full of Balanese Quartet, who are remarkable uh, string players. No, I think they play the like um, University Challenge. <laughs> they play that. That's funny, right? Yeah. Anyway, he did like the most amazing violin solo I've ever heard. It was just incredible.
The whole idea of sort of dancing with the devil is something, sort of a theme that, that runs throughout the album. The video itself made by uh, the guys at Field, just really, just they just captured it so perfectly. Ariel's a story about the goddess of healing named Ariel, who is um, fighting out this sort of eternal battle with the devil. And in the, in the lyrics, the devil is sort of trying to burn Ariel's house down and trying to destroy her, but, um, but she manages to evade him and, and disappear. And on your bedroom is a There was a fire in your house, they say. It's been great performing the album live for the first time, and we look forward to touring the album worldwide. Album, I feel like we're really fulfilling that potential and finding the sound and all the elements uh, coming into play in a way that I think is really satisfying. Because I can't stand my visions and sleep my mind. Next for Stateless is tour this record, write new material, keep on building on what we've built so far and get bigger and better. Just take soul visions and transform. We are touring in Europe. There is a dream, it's a whole new live show. We are, we are the makers. 